So hi, welcome to Medical Repair. Today I just need to attend to my everyday watch here, which has been losing time pretty badly. This is a solar watch, a Seiko Titanium 100 meter. And uh, let me flip it over and put it under the microscope and we can kind of see the... So there we go. We can see that it is a model V157. Uh, and that's the bit that you really need to know when you're trying to find the right battery for it. Search for a rechargeable battery. Um, with that reference number and you should hopefully find them fairly easy and yes these do take uh, rechargeable batteries because of course they have to uh, charge up fairly quickly in the sunlight and then continue overnight and you know beneath your sleeve and things like that i'm uh, going to uh, give it a good clean uh, and i'll take the clasp off actually because that's the bit that gets the biggest amount of muck and things in it i'll pop that in the ultrasonic cleaner and i'll use a toothbrush just to clean everything else here is our little fastener for the clasp and you can see that's actually a spring loaded uh, device there so you can just press that in um, I'm not going to be able to do it with one hand while I'm trying to hold everything for the microscope and it springs apart comes out and then you just need to make sure of course you don't lose the uh, the little the little rod okay so our next problem is we've got to get the back off this and for this I'm using this tool this is a three prong tool and uh, you can get two pronged ones as well but I like the three it gives you a much more stable uh, base and they come with sets like this this is an old Maplin one in fact so it shows its age don't know how long Maplin's been closed down but uh, anyway um, yeah so Seiko tend to or is it Seiko Psycho whatever tend to do their watch backs up a little bit hard from the factory anyway we position those so they go on three alternative points and there we go it's just loosened off now so we'll just continue with that and it should probably come off by hand now hopefully and of course be very careful if yours isn't a general purpose everyday watch that you're kind of getting mucky and things all the time you do need to be extremely careful of course not to scratch the back there go the back off you can see that there's a little ring around it that ring is a neoprene ring intended to uh, form waterproofing and switching across you can also see there is another ring around this this sort of green plasticky ring is also a seal just lifts out directly like that and i like to keep it the right way up and everything and there we can see our rechargeable battery <clears throat> so I have obtained what I hope is the right size rechargeable battery it looks about right it's got uh, rings and things that look like they're around about the right place so fingers crossed first I need a really tiny screwdriver okay I probably won't be able to show me unscrewing this but all I'm going to do is unscrew that one screw pop out the battery put the replacement battery in then screw it back up again and it's just going to be really fiddly and my fingers are going to be in the way of the microscope and all that sort of stuff but anyway yeah 1.3 millimeter screwdriver and let's get started okay so there it is the new battery is in and the watch is ticking away um, it was ticking before but fingers crossed it will keep better time now and uh, hold some charge for a longer period so uh, that will be good Next, though, I am going to clean around the rim of this because I just want to make sure that the neoprene seal can sit absolutely smooth against you with no grit or muck in there. And I'm also going to clean just a bit wider underneath where the kind of lip of the base, uh, the back, um, would overlap. Because normally, of course, you can't get to that point. I can clean everything else with the watch reassembled. But uh, I just need to get into these little awkward spaces. And I'm just using uh, a very lightly dampened, not wet, but just dampened um, board with a little bit of IPA um, and a tiniest trace of water in it. We mustn't get any um, anything that can cause water vapour within the body of the watch because um, since it's a sealed unit, that will actually kind of, it could, could just sort of... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Steam up and uh, go misty on the inside with condensation. So, uh, yeah, we must keep it dry and do this preferably on a nice dry day with low relative humidity. Okay, so now I'm just finishing off 
um, with a dry bit of cotton wool just to make sure everything is perfectly dry and then we'll get this green seal reinserted and there is a little dent just goes over the winder um, so it's easy to figure out which way around it goes so looking at the back we can see a very mucky neoprene ring and uh, I'm just going to get a quick wipe while it's in place because it's easier to keep hold of like that but then I'll pop it off so that I can clean the sort of groove that it sits in or the, the lip edge that it sits in because despite being waterproof uh, it's amazing how much muck and dust can get into this uh, this little edge and uh, this is just uh, on the metal I'm using a dilute IPA isopropyl alcohol and uh, on the ring I'm just using some water because I don't want to put anything nasty on it at all okay so I'll pop the ring back on the last thing to be aware of is that this does need just a wipe just tiniest little bit of silicon lubricant on it before reassembly because otherwise it will kind of pucker and get stuck as the watch back goes back on okay so I've reassembled the back and now I'm just uh, cleaning with a toothbrush head and uh, some IPA just trying to brush through all these gaps and get rid of all the accumulated uh, dirt so uh, this will take a little while and then I will turn my attention to putting the fasteners or the clasp back on the end which is of course just the opposite of when I removed it I didn't actually use uh, the ultrasonic bath for the clasp in the end I just left it in a in a jar of IPA just to uh, just to soak and that seems to have pretty much done the job I just need to give it a little bit of a scrub okay so we're basically at the end now just reassembling the clasp for the second time because I put it on backwards the first time and uh, yeah I'll need to leave this in the sun now for a couple of days to make sure that battery is 100% charged because uh, I want to make sure it gets a full charge and uh, of course I need to set the time and uh, that'll be the end of this now of course this was fairly simple we just need to take the back off which is tricky get the right battery which is slightly tricky undo the screw which is fiddly put the new battery in redo that screw even fiddlier clean it up put the back on and we're done so i hope you enjoyed that if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already done so bye for now